Hi everyone, George here, and welcome to this brand new video all about how to set up this ADA 60P here at Scape Nature, created by the owner, Ray. As you can see, a beautiful aquarium here with this beautiful manzanita wood. This is actually going to be taken out soon and rearranged to make it look even more beautiful. Here you can see the ADA AquaSky RGB LED, quite a new unit from ADA, and we also have the ADA light screen in the background to give this beautiful backdrop effect. So Ray's now taking out the manzanita wood and transferring it over to the scaping dojo here at Scape Nature, rearranging the wood slightly and then vitally adding a couple of pieces of the beautiful Frodo stone. So a bit of a story for you, Frodo stone was actually flown over by Adam Paschkela from the ADA Idea Studio in Poland where Ray and I have actually visited earlier this year and we're intending to visit again maybe later this year or early next year so I'm sure we'll be able to bring you some beautiful video content from our visits. So escaping dojos are the perfect way to try before you buy and most aquascaping specialist stores these days do have these. They're a great way to just ensure that you can walk away with the best hardscape possible and I have to say Escape Nature have some of the most beautiful hardscape available here in the UK. So now we add our substrate system. This is the ADA Power Sand Basic. This is a, a base layer uh, formed of like a pumice stone and then there's some uh, organic kind of peat materials to add nutrients. We just kind of move the power sand away from the glass so it doesn't spoil the look when you're looking at the tank from the front. And then we add our bacteria and our clear super which is an activated charcoal and bacteria supplement. On top of that we add our ADA Aquasol Amazonia powder type. This is super rich in nutrients and it's really important to do large and frequent water changes after the initial setup to ensure these ammonia spikes don't cause any algae and of course we shouldn't be adding any livestock until that ammonia has disappeared. Ray's now adding the manzanita wood in a similar configuration to before but vitally now we're adding the Frodo stones. These not only look beautiful but they also act to help weigh that wood down after initial filling to ensure the wood doesn't soak. So here we have our final layout filmed with a wide angle lens to get the kind of high impact nature that you can see here. So now Ray's preparing all the plants, all Tropica 1-2 growing potted plants. I'll leave a list below the screen right now and also leave that in the description. Beautiful plants, quite some of them quite rarely used in aquascapes. I don't often use a lot of these species particularly the Gratiola viscidula. I don't think I've ever used that in an aquascape. Yeah, just a very interesting mix of plants. So Ray's now planting the Monte Carlo there over to the right hand side of the aquarium. So you can see already this is going to be a classic kind of triangular layout with the taller plants and the taller hardscape to the left leading down to the carpeting and low plants to the right. So we're planting into the dry soil here. This helps to keep the plants well anchored and it produces less mess as well. Beautiful Cryptocrony Albida brown there. And because it's a crypt, it doesn't mind being a little bit shaded, so that's fine being planted underneath the wood there. Adds a little bit of extra colour as well, beautiful crypt. And here we have that stem plant, the Gratiola viscidula. And just adding a little interesting sense of texture on the left hand side. And then in the background on the left, we're going to be replanting the Rotala Hra. This is going to add some beautiful colour and grow to the surface of the aquarium and, and really enhance this triangular appearance. Now we're adding our epiphyte plants from the Microsorum Trident and Bucophalandra Red, using a little bit of super glue there on the Bucophalandra to attach it to the manzanita wood. So there we have it, the tank is now fully planted. Beautiful system, the ADA. Thank you. 
Ray's now fitting the glass pipework set to the ADA Superjet ES600 filter and that will fill up very slowly using this siphon tube. No red colander this time I'm afraid. So there we have it guys, the tank is now filled. Unfortunately we do getting some flickering there on the video but we don't see that in real life from the ADA light screen. So there we go, the ADA 60P now set up by Ray from Scape Nature. Another beautiful display here in the store. Really looking forward to seeing this one develop. I am planning to visit Scape Nature again uh, next month. So we'll give an update video on this hopefully. And I'm sure it will grow in beautifully. I have to say ADA is super expensive. It's not to everyone's budget and taste. But if you are in the market for the kind of most luxurious and highest end aquascaping system then it's definitely worth while considering the system and you can rest assured it's a tried and tested system with the substrate system the liquid fertilizer the lighting the filtration the co2 all of these things have been designed specifically for the aquascaper in mind and then an ada is is steeped in history you know it's a company founded by takashi amano who sadly passed away in 2015 but his legacy lives on. There's, you know, thousands, if not millions of people that have been inspired now by the nature aquarium concept. And I, for one, you know, owe a huge uh, amount of gratitude to Takashi Amano because he is pretty much responsible for the reason why I'm now a full-time aquascaper. And it's filming videos like this that really kind of reinforce this fact. You know, it's just so great to be able to produce content for you guys, sharing my passion of aquascaping and particularly the nature aquarium hobby. So I'll end it there now guys, have a nice little bit of music to the end. I hope you're all well and taking care of yourselves and others and being kind. You take care, keep on scaping. Cheerio.